it's me, your favorite naturopathic doctor here, Dr. Whimsy with Broke Aristocrats. And today I'm sharing a little bit about my plans for uh, how I'm going to live the good life and how I'm going to wind up in a really great financial situation. And there are a lot of factors that go into having uh, a great financial uh, situation and I want to talk about an area of becoming financially stable that none of the other channels are really talking about and that is your physical health do you have good physical health are you taking good care of your physical health and can you continue to safely do the job that you're doing without any risk to your health. And that's because when we look at some of the factors that going, go into being financially stable, particularly later on in life, one of the things we have to take into, uh, uh, take into account is the amount of years that you've been saving money. How long have you been saving? Have you been saving consistently? Uh, how long have you been working? Uh, have you been working? Have you been uh, contributing uh, for X, X amount of years? How many years? If you are trying to save on groceries, I've talked about this before, if you're trying to save on groceries, if you're uh, coupon clipping to save money on groceries, if you think that one of the first areas that you should cut is your groceries, uh, and you're buying convenience foods, cheap foods, uh, processed foods, thinking that you're saving money, there's nothing I can say other than uh, this is probably one of the biggest mistakes I see in the frugal community, hands down. And that is because investing in your health is probably the best financial decision you'll ever make. The healthier you are, the better you take care of yourself, the better your nutrition, the more functional you're going to be. Uh, the better you're going to be able to handle stress, the longer you're going to be able to go to work and earn an income. And so I would argue, my argument, and certainly it's the argument here at Broke Aristocrats, is that your first priority is your self-care. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Your first priority is to make sure that you are, are getting your needs adequately met, uh, physically, emotionally, spiritually, certainly nutritionally. And so any uh, cuts that you make, if they in any way compromise your health, I would argue that it's not worth it. When we talk about the first areas that we really wanna secure when we're paying down debt, we talk about the four walls uh, that's where you live, uh, being able to feed yourself, uh, transportation. Uh, those are so, uh, some of the things that we think about when we think about the four walls, electricity bill, et cetera, et cetera. The things that we need in order to live. When you start cutting things out in order to pay off your bills, uh, we always start with the luxury items, the things we really don't uh, need. And there's a way to eat really good nutritious food and live below your means, pay off your debts and improve your health uh, all by, while remaining on a, on a budget. And that's a little bit about what I wanted to talk about today in this video. And specifically, I wanted to talk about a physician who certainly inspired me as a doctor. And that's a man by the name of Ellsworth Wareham. Ellsworth Wareham is a, a cardiologist. He retired from being a cardiologist when he was 95 years old. Now I'm 55 right now and everyone's asking me about asking me retirement questions as they should. Uh, you know, when am I going to be retiring? Uh, do I put money aside every month uh, for my retirement? That's absolutely true. But I also, one of the best investments I, I have made in my retirement is that I have completely overhauled uh, the way that I eat and really I have 
double down in my efforts to take good care of myself. So Ellsworth Wareham, he retired from being a cardiologist when he was 95 years old. He's a vegan. He's now 103 years old uh, and still drives. Uh, his wife still drives. And he has no pain. He walks. He's uh, very physically active. And he understood as a cardiologist, which that coronary artery disease was one of the number one killers uh, of Americans. And he understood that by being on a whole foods plant-based diet, he could uh, prevent uh, coronary artery disease. He also understood that coronary artery disease was very much a Western disease. It was a d disease of affluence, eating too much, eating uh, too many animal products, eating too many processed foods, too many calories. Uh, inactivity, not being physically active enough. So if you watch the video, the last, uh, I think it was the last video I did, I talked about how I completely overhauled, uh, I've, I've changed a lot of things. Um, I just really, my business was very slow in August, so what do you do in August? You know, I, I do continuing education if it's slow, work on the business, a lot of, a lot of my patients went on holiday. But I decided what I would do in August was to completely overhaul uh, how I was taking care of myself and really double down on taking better care of myself. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I cut out all gluten, no more gluten. That, that really helped me because I, I had a lot of digestive health complaints. I went over 90% uh, vegan and I cut out all meat so I'm vegetarian I went ve I became vegetarian uh, all whole foods uh, so the base of my diet right now is uh, I'll just tell you what I do I wake up in the morning I have a smoothie a green smoothie I if you look at previous videos I have some recipes for that usually a smoothie will run you about two bucks uh, two to three dollars uh, depending on how you make it I make mine with uh, a protein and greens, uh, various different chopped veg uh, fruits, uh, chopped up fruits, uh, some rice milk, maybe a little almond milk. I throw in some flax seeds uh, for omega threes. Uh, sometimes I'll, every morning now, in terms of the animal products I use, I've been putting in a couple heaping tablespoons, approximately half a cup of uh, goat's yogurt. So I that. Really, I feel great on that. That's my morning breakfast. And then for lunch, I usually will have something like quinoa, brown rice, uh, black beans, uh, steamed vegetables, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, then for snacks, I have hummus, uh, whole uh, or brown rice, uh, seed crackers, organic um, chopped vegetables. That Those are common snacks. Uh, roasted nuts. Nuts are really good for your health, believe it or not. Uh, they're associated with decreased risk for coronary artery disease. So I always make sure I have full, a handful of nuts. And then for dinner, dinner's usually light. I usually want to finish my dinner by about uh, 4 or 5 p.m. if I do have a dinner. And uh, it's something very light, like a, a bowl of uh, pea soup or something like that. So that was the overhaul I did. And I felt like it was the best financial decision that I could make because by putting 110% into me having good health and by being uh, plant-based, right now, caloric-wise, I would say I'm at about 90% of my calories are coming from plants. My goal will eventually, I'd like to get to 100%. That's my goal right now. I'm very comfortable being at 90%. The book I, I recommend for people, if you'd like to find out uh, a little bit about how to completely overhaul uh, things and uh, heal your life uh, nutritionally. I always start people with Eat to Live by Joel Furman. Uh, the film uh, Forks Over Knives is very inspirational and I would definitely check out Ellsworth Wareham. I'll put a link below so that you can find out about this amazing cardiologist who worked until the age of 95. That is a huge opportunity. Look, if, if his colleagues are retiring at 65, 65, 70 years of age, uh, you know, 70 is pretty generous, but say they retired at, at 70 years of age, 
you know, he's, t he's working and earning an income uh, happily for another 25 years. So that's another 25 years. Uh, that he can put into his uh, retirement plan uh, and uh, be active and contribute and uh, do positive things in the world as a cardiologist. And I really, I got very inspired by hearing him talk about how uh, when he has worked as a physician overseas in third world countries, he very rarely saw coronary artery disease. For the month of uh, S September, we were also talking about uh, diabetes prevention and I really think that if you check out uh, Eat to Live by Joel Furman you'll be able to come up with some great recipes and information about uh, decreasing risk for uh, type 2 diabetes as well. So that was this video. <laughs> I know you can do it. Uh, healing our lives uh, by eating nutrient dense foods. Uh, we do have about 40 years or more of clinical research of uh, phase one, phase two trials. In fact, the largest uh, accumulation of data on reversal of coronary artery disease and type two diabetes is on a uh, plant-based diet. Uh, those, that was the research uh, done by both Dean Ornish and Caldwell Esselstein. So um, that is what I have for you today. That is the plan for how to get rich, uh, stay healthy longer. Uh, I also want to say, last thing I want to say, is that when I overhauled my uh, diet and went on a plant-based diet where, you know, you buy things in bulk from Whole Foods, rice, uh, beans, you learn how to cook them. Great, there are great uh, cookbooks out there. I love the Moosewood cookbook. Uh, all the vegan on a budget stuff is great, but I really try to be as nutritious as possible. And um, I think my monthly uh, investment for me is about 250 a month I spend on groceries uh, vegan. So I did not, because I cut out the meat and the processed food, that money could then be spent on fresh uh, fruits and veggies and, and whatnot. So I didn't see uh, I didn't see a major income, uh, spending shift when I moved towards uh, plant-based. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure and share, like, subscribe. Tell me what you're doing to take care of yourself without breaking the bank. And tell me if you are taking good care of yourself and uh, eating uh, nutritiously. Please, please don't eat garbage. Uh, you don't need to get sick when you're trying to get out of debt. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.